Hello everybody and welcome back to All Things Air Gun. Somebody in the Air Rifle Enthusiast Forum, I apologize I can't remember your name, but uh, he was asking about a phone app called Chrono Connect Mobile Pro. <clears throat> and there's also a Chrono Connect Mobile Lite, which is free. It's the trial version, I guess, limited in some way. And the uh, Pro version, I think, is $3.85 on Google Play. But the point here is this app is supposed to act as a chronograph and measure the speed of your projectiles. Now, this is done by using known distance, meaning you have to precisely measure the distances between the target and the gun, between the phone and the gun, between the phone and the path of the pellet, and supposedly the more accurate these measurements, the, um, the more precise it will be. And it uses the report of the gun as one data point and the sound of the projectile striking something as the second data point. And it does its calculations and it's supposed to give you a speed. <laughs> and um, I got to tell you, I'm a little skeptical about this. So I'm going to test it. Uh, this is, you know, spur of the moment. <clears throat> I'm just getting over being sick. I'm not outside or anything. I'm in the basement and it's messy down here. So please forgive all that. But um, I've got my real chronograph set up. And I have the Crony or Chrono Connect Mobile Lite version on my phone to the left there. <clears throat> and we're going to see if there's a difference. <clears throat> but uh, everything has been measured to a precision of less than a quarter of an inch. I am shooting from precisely seven yards. The uh, phone is precisely measured. All of the information has been put into the app, the grain of the pellets and everything, even down to the coefficients and whatever. But uh, let's see what happens here. I'm very curious. I'm gonna use my Beeman P17 for this. And my, uh, I don't, you can't see the target, I guess, but I have uh, metal spinners down there, seven yards away. So it should give us a good second noise for this app to work. Now I have to uh, click the button up here and we'll see what happens. Start monitoring, it's monitoring. That's pretty close. <laughs> Let's try that again. Seems to pick up any noise and say error. Yeah, I can see a decibel meter moving at the bottom. That's, that's kind of cool. But anyway, here we go. Second shot. Yeah, a little off that time. Still closer than I thought it would be. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still a little sick. Third shot. Ah, oh, I got an error on the good one. furnace is making noises. I'm waiting for that to stop. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm very impressed by this. <laughs> it hasn't been dead on, but wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. Like I said, I measured everything very, very precisely. So, I, um, wow, I can't believe this. Is it picking up again? Oh, I know, it stops after three shots, that's right. <clears throat> but regardless, look at what it says and what the Caldwell chronograph says. Let's do this some more. Okay, here we go. Damn it. Why am I getting errors on my good one? I have my infrared lights on. I don't know what the problem is. There we go. Try again. Okay, that was way off that time. Again. Well, this is strange. It was pretty close at the beginning. Now, not so much. I've changed nothing. Nothing has changed. I, you know, I'm still in the same spot doing the same thing. Got another. Oh, hell, it turned off again. Okay, give it a couple more shots. You guys can form your own conclusions here. In the beginning of this, I was impressed. Not, not now. <laughs> yeah. Well... I certainly wouldn't use this to fine-tune my PCP, but just to get a general idea, I don't think this is bad. Huh. Well, then again, here we go. <laughs> well, you guys saw the results. It was pretty close at first. I don't, uh, I don't know why it's any different now. It is. Okay, now it's wildly off. Um, well, there you go. You guys can uh, make up your own minds. I, um, like I said at the beginning of this, I was impressed. The more we did it, the less impressed I've become. So, uh, you can, uh, you know, try this yourself at home if you have a real chronograph and, uh, you can use the free version like I'm doing. Uh, I don't know if I can recommend this for anything. Like I said, I, I have measured this precisely, precisely. So, uh, if you weren't going to use a tape measure and uh, measure these things precisely I assume it will be less and less accurate I don't think it could be any more well set up than it is right now so I uh, hope this is useful information thanks for watching and enjoy your air guns <laughs>